Hello there. And welcome again my friends, to the Craft Majestic channel. While I was at my local thrift store the other day, I stumbled upon this box of Halo Recon Gateway from Mattel's Mega Constructs line. Excited to have found such a gem, considering I normally don't see many Halo toys in my town, I immediately bought it and left inspired. The sets includes a mongoose vehicle modeled after its appearance in Halo Infinite, two UNSC Marines, an elite mercenary, and a grunt conscript, which is a perfect addition to a diorama that I had in my mind. As always, I inspected the content, check all the figures are not missing any parts and then assembled the mongoose, which surprisingly to me, has been modified by the innovative people from Mattel to move side to side, instead of a straight line. I then put all the figures out of sight for now and began working on the base. I began by using a 12 by 12 corkboard as the main foundation of the diorama. I then applied a mixture of Mod Podge and a layer of PVA glue, a step that is crucial to ensure its durability and shield it from potential damage caused by moisture or external elements. I aim to enhance the base by introducing an elevated terrain using a square piece of styrofoam. Additionally, I carefully marked and trimmed sections of the foam to craft a sloping effect. Upon achieving the desired form, I proceeded to shred numerous newspapers into fine fragments. With this, I combined a scoop of plaster and an appropriate volume of water to create my homemade sculpty mold. The plaster introduced a textured paste with a distinctive clumpiness. This application proved instrumental in eliminating the flatness of the ground, concurrently fostering a smoother and more organic transition. After allowing this to dry, I proceeded to blend a fresh batch of sand, plaster and water. This mixture was then employed to conceal the lower section of the terrain. After that, I added real mini pebbles as small rocks, strategically placing them across various sections of the base and the lower terrain, mirroring their natural arrangement. I then secure the rocks by applying glue. Continuing with the detail, I then utilized a homemade mold left over from a prior project, I integrated fragmented rock pieces into distinct areas of the terrain. After securing and gluing the parts together, my next step is to create a diluted mixture of black paint to coat the entire base.
After achieving the necessary coverage, I proceeded to enhance the paintwork with a dry brushing technique using white paint to accentuate the raised details. Following that, I shift my focus to the lower section of the terrain. In this phase, I apply a generous, even layer of clear glue, and then proceed to cover it entirely with desert-colored sand. I then allowed the sand and glue few hours to settle and dry. For the next step, I return to mixing paint to apply contrast paints to the elevated terrain. This process was crucial in adding a vivid burst of color to what was initially a somewhat dark-looking diorama. After completing the application of these contrasting colors, I allow it to dry off camera. Now, it's time to breathe life into the diorama. After generously applying clear glue to the lower part of the terrain, I delicately sprinkled down some vibrant yellow grass. Now that it's starting to look even better, we're not finished just yet. In addition to the yellow base, I've introduced another layer of green grass. I believe this combination will truly bring a natural, lifelike quality to the entire diorama. To infuse even more vibrant color and detail, I've added further highlights to the raised terrain at this stage. With a fine brush, I've also cleared out areas where natural grass wouldn't typically grow. Allowing these parts to have more exposure adds a much-needed aesthetic touch to the project. When I'm content with all the details, I apply the final finishing touch as I approach the conclusion of the project. Now, all that remains is to bring the figures to life. I am Lieutenant David Foster, leading my recon team on a mission to rescue stranded UNSC soldiers deep within Installation 07. We had been chasing their desperate distress signal for days, with the Covenant a constant, looming threat. As we sped through the alien terrain on our Moongoose ATV, the landscape was unforgiving, and every turn held potential danger. Stay vigilant, Marines! We're getting close! I shouted above the roar of our engines. Stay true. Without They're warning, charging. the Covenant descended upon us. Plasma fire lit up the trail, and the forest came alive with the chattering of grunts and the roars of elites. Take cover, men! Take cover! I ordered, and we scrambled behind rocks and the ATV. The air was filled with the clatter of battle rifles and the sizzle of plasma bolts. My recon team fought valiantly, but the Covenant pressed us hard, using the rocky terrain to their advantage. We couldn't hold our ground for long. Realizing we needed a better position. We also pressed on. Exhausted and outnumbered, my mind was consumed with worry for the stranded troops we were supposed to rescue. We'd come so far, and they were still out there, awaiting our help.
Thank you so much everyone, that is it for now. A very big thanks to all the one that supported this channel, and for those of you who stayed to watch this video. See you again next time.